hello guys uh, welcome back uh, in this video we will learn how to model a round staircase for that uh, we shall use uh, duplicate special tool and uh, radial symmetry can be achieved using that tool so firstly I would like to start with a pillar in the center of the staircase so I'm going to take a cylinder here this cylinder is going to come in the center for you it may not happen and the reason could be in polygon primitives you have this option called interactive creation if you switch this option on and then when you go and create a cylinder so there's no cylinder it's telling that you need to click and drag and then uh, create a cylinder there but this cylinder doesn't have uh, dimensions which you might expect so what you know, need to do is go to the polygon primitives and then we have this option called interactive creation make it off and then create the cylinder which gives the cylinder at the origin with uh, one unit in uh, radius and two units of height so I'm going to put a uh, 20 units of height here for the cylinder so from the grid 10 units above and 10 units below it is so I need to set the translate Y to 10 so that the cylinder comes above the grid and precisely placed on it so I'll put the radius to 2 to give a thick uh, pillar for the cylinder so far so good and I have to create the step here so I'm going to take a polygon cube and then just move it aside uh, I know this uh, polygon cube is one unit height so translate y 0.5 will put this uh, cylinder over the grid and then go to the top view just press spacebar click on the Maya here and then go to the top view and then uh, you have the pivot point in the center of the object but I want the pivot point to be the center of the pillar and the center of the pillar is uh, also the grid center so I'm going to press D which uh, is generally used to alter the pivot point position and I'm going to press X which is going to snap that to any of the grid point so move that to the grid point in the center now you should be able to see you have uh, the object which can be now rotated around the cylinder uh, uh, around the pillar here okay now just go to the top view select right click select the vertex points and move this vertex points to the center like that and then just scale this like that okay now you should able to see uh, I'm just uh, translating as per uh, what uh, suits to the proportions so I've got uh, one step here and uh, you can apply freeze transformation and then you should able to see uh, the values are zeros and then delete history now it's good always to name it so I'm going to name this as pillar geometry and then step uh, 01 which is going to be copied again and again um, around this cylinder okay in the radial axis so what I'm going to do here is uh, I will duplicate this press ctrl D just move it above okay and uh, it should be precisely one unit and then rotate it and it should be roughly 14 uh, degrees or 15 14 or 15 should be fine so you got that um, value so remember this translate y is 1 and rotate y is 15 so I'm deleting this now let's go to edit duplicate special and uh, 
uh, uh, we know that this cube is one unit height and cylinder is 20 units height so I'm going to select the cube and I'm going to make 20 copies here okay so 20 copies generally give a total of 21 objects because one is already there so if you want 20 better to take 19 number of copies here and translate y I need to put 1 rotate y I need to put 15 and then uh, if you want to alter this model you want to modify it and you want to show that impact on all other copies then instead of taking copy you take instance okay then duplicate it now should be able to see uh, it a uh, transformation of one unit in y axis and uh, rotation of 15 degrees a copy has been created and later the other copy follows the same value which gives this beautiful staircase okay now the best part is if I select one of the object here and then alter anything if you just move it all the objects I mean all the steps what we have created will be uh, affected with the same values so I'm going to select that and I'm going to apply bevel and uh, add some segments if I want that roundness to be achieved okay now should be able to see that nice highlight going on on the staircase not only that you can alter anything related to um, this model so let's say if I put insert edge loop tool and then select that vertices and then not necessary but if I can do this the whole staircase get that nice roundness okay and uh, whatever alteration you want to do you, you can do it uh, to the step and it uh, affects all other copies now I've got this uh, staircase um, now I just want a railing so for that I'm going to take a polygon cylinder and I'm going to put it here now the first thing is I'm going to set the radius to 0 0.1 okay and uh, the axis subdivision to 8 or maybe 12 I just uh, wanted it to be less now I want the pivot point of uh, this cylinder to be at the bottom so I'm going to press uh, D for the pivot point edit mode and then V for point snap and then using middle mouse just click here normal clicking generally doesn't move that pivot point what you need to do is you need to press D V and then when you click middle mouse just slightly move the cursor okay and now I've got this uh, object I'm going to uh, snap it to that point and uh, I can just uh, alter it its position now I could see the height looks way small I'm scaling it to the suitable requirement okay now this is uh, one railing stand now I need to apply the same duplicate values to this but again I need to go to the top view okay and then set the pivot point to the center of the grid so press uh, D and X and then set the pivot point to the center okay so you got the pivot point sitting in the center here now what I need to do is um, uh, use the same duplicate special tools so we have a, a shortcut for this duplicate special uh, shift control D so I'm going to select that press shift control D and then the same values will apply to this particular cylinder and you get that arrangement okay now this looks good now we will do um, the railing support for that we are going to use the helix uh, primitive 
helix primitive is a cylind uh, is a spring it has got coils it has got height width and radius option so i need to um, get proper coil number height number all that so uh, setting up this is going to be uh, quite tricky if you follow that um, it will be very easy to achieve the placement if not you'll be struggling whole life so i'll be giving you simple tips to place this correctly on the model so first take the helix and make sure that it is sitting at the origin which is the center of this uh, particular model so go to the top view press 4 and then you should able to see the railing uh, stands are here so go to the helix and then control the width now the first thing is you need to uh, match this uh, so radius i have set it to 0 0.125 uh, maybe and width i'm going to set it to 16 or 15.5 15.6 okay 16 15.6 is correct now i'm going to increase the coil subdivisions to make it smooth okay and uh, now you should see that i went to the top view and adjusted two things one is width and i have adjusted the radius you should see that it's perfectly sitting on that uh, railing stands and uh, the radius is matching the width is matching so next time you don't touch that two attributes they are they are set the only attributes you need to play here is the height and number of coils so i'm going to increase the height now just using move tool place it there okay now you should identify one thing that I've just slightly rotated it here just to now you should identify one thing that is coils are too much so I'm reducing the coils and then you could able to see so 0 0.8 1 0 0.82 so 0 0.81 and 0 0.82 are uh, okay the values were this is slightly coming uh, out so I'm okay with that and I'm just pushing that so that it penetrates here now here uh, the penetration is way too which tells that the height is slightly less so put 19.7 and then you should able to see uh, things are much better okay now you should able to see you got the railing now you might be thinking this railing is not um, I mean you didn't maybe like the railing you want to make it into more complicated design it's a round I don't want that I want it to be more complicated than you can actually do it how do I do that you know I'll be selecting one of the edge here okay double click uh, this edge that selects the total loop and then go to modify convert and then choose uh, polygon edges to curve okay where is that here polygon edges to curve once that has been selected hide this model and you should see you got a curve here okay that looks good now i'll come to the front view take a circle uh, i'll be uh, taking a nerf circle okay i'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and then i'm going to increase the subdivisions of this uh, to the requirement i'm going to scale this okay and i'm going to move it and I'm going to scale this inside so if you if you can add more 
lines and you can get more details you can actually do it okay uh, like uh, you want something like that so i'm not uh, touching it uh, take a quality time and then do it correctly so i'm just applying freeze transformation and delete history i should also do that with this model modify freeze transformation and delete by type history so both are uh, simple curves now select both of them go to the surfaces then extrude okay uh, here there are so many settings uh, just keep it simple just set all that values on one side on so tube at path at component and profile normal so and uh, the result should be in polygons and then it should be quads and there are four types of tessellation okay so i'm going to use general and then per span number of isoperms is the uh, u and v type and then just extrude it now you should able to see you got that railing you might be thinking okay this looks too thick no problem select that and then scale it and then that becomes slightly uh, thin and it has got that nice curvature the next thing is uh, the next thing is uh, this model has got too many subdivisions you can just select the model go to the tess tessellate and you remember that i've taken u type and v type as per span of uh, number of isoperms so just reduce this uh, u spans and then uh, control the v spans and then you should able to control how many lines you wanted there and that's how you can create railing here uh, lastly you can select this model and then apply fill hole but uh, apply fill hole only once your um, cross section is finalized because once you have finalized then only you can generally do the modification of this end okay with uh, whatever uh, uh, edge details you want you can generally give it there like adding crease lines okay so that gives that nice crease on the corner and uh, that's how you can do the whole model here so you should able to see i've achieved that nice and uh, uh, from here you can include all your modeling uh, techniques and then make it more complicated as per the your requirement.